W113 Pagoda SL Group, a newly formed club of men and women around the world who are having a love affair with the classic Mercedes Pagoda SL. The group's fast-growing membership of Pagoda owners and enthusiasts is expected to soon number in the thousands. Members range from first-time owners to seasoned technical experts, sharing their information and their enthusiasm for these classic pagodas. They come together through regional clubs, local ad hoc get-togethers, and mostly through the group's very friendly internet website. Everyone is welcome and encouraged to visit the group's website, www.sl113.org. You don't need to be a member to browse around the site, and navigation is easy. Central to the website, you'll find several forums where members discuss car issues and exchange information on a wide variety of Pagoda topics, technical as well as the aesthetic. You'll find that the forum discussions are always helpful and supportive. Experienced volunteer moderators help facilitate responses to member questions when needed. Look at the proudly posted photographs of members' cars. Review the extensive archive of technical and how-to articles. Examine the web links to valued and hard-to-find Pagoda resources and services. Finally, check the site to learn more about the many additional benefits of membership and how to become a full-fledged part of this outstanding group. The website is an invaluable day-to-day -day resource that brings members together from around the globe. But face-to-face -face local get-togethers and regional tech sessions sponsored by the group intensifies the Pagoda experience, learning a lot and having fun with fellow enthusiasts. Also, it's got a plastic hose, vacuum hose, that's screwed on to the brake booster in here. Uh, the early cars had a rated. One of the group's popular technical sessions is hosted annually by master mechanic Joe Alexander and his wife Mary at their home in Blacklick, Ohio. It was a chance to see other cars up close and to get tips on maintenance and repairs from several of the Pagoda experts who attended. This moves the kingpin this way on there by turning this. It's frozen in this case, but it moves, moves the kingpin this way. Now the camber adjustment, which does this or that to the wheel, I can see the little notch on there. And, uh, and I don't oh, know I why they moved it, but every 280 I've looked at has it down there, and on our cars it's, it's plugged into this little square juicy jigger here. You can see that combustion chambers are eating way past the gasket surfaces. Uh, that was probably from very old antifreeze or uh, someone blew a head gasket. There you go. Okay, now for the next Zymol starter kit donated by Bob Yako. Yeah. 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 Firewalls, mats, and the woods. So I had her get me a sample. So what are you doing, Joe? Twisting the twisting the switch. Right. Now the problem that we've got, the problem that we've got here is that we don't know since those wires are hooked up what kind of continuity we're getting at the other end of the circuit on the transmission. Right. right. You follow me? Yeah. You're need Michael, to take one of the, the wires pull off. Pull up on the uh, thing and make sure that. No, it's not changing. No, so we're going to have to pull those wires off. At again. least one. Or one. One wire off. Okay. One will break a circuit. Thanks, Joe and Mary. We all had a great time. 230SL, 250SL, and 280SL Pagoda owners and enthusiasts absolutely should belong to the W113 Pagoda SL group. A responsive member website, regional technical sessions, local outings, and now, for paying members, the group published Pagoda World Magazine. These are just a few of the membership benefits. Go to the website to join the group. Become a part of this worldwide love affair with these magnificent classic machines.